What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are changing a wheel hub on my girlfriend's Dodge Charger because I blew it on a highway trying to get parts from my car so I decided you know what I'll buy it and put it because the wheel was going like this and it was getting kind of sketchy and oh, it's so shiny I don't even know if I can get this out with one hand uh oh we're gonna do it anyways. Here we go. So it's not bad, it's shiny. Hopefully it's the right diameter in the middle, um, which I should probably go compare against another one. So here's the one I picked up from Pick and Pull. Here, as, oh, okay, you can, as you can notice, I think the older ones had a smaller diameter. And these ones have a larger, so this one will definitely fit. That one did not. That was like a waste of like 20 bucks versus like 200 that I paid for this one, but at least it's brand new. Spins awesome. So, without further ado, man, let's jump straight into this and take off the wheel. Hopefully, it's not frozen on and I can get this up in the air. So, let's go. The next thing that I'll do to get this off, um, before anything, I'm gonna take the wheel nut off here, and then I'll take out the caliper. The caliper is just held on, held on with like two, I believe 14 millimeter bolts here. That's probably really dark. Uh, one up here and one at the bottom. And then actual hub assembly, it's held on with little um, E-bolts that are just tucked in behind um, the CV shaft here. Uh, the one that's gonna be tricky is probably getting this bottom one where my hand is. Uh, I don't have a swivel socket set still, so. So that's gonna be the challenging part. There's like multiple ways to do this next part. So here, I'm just gonna take this and jam it basically in between the caliper and paddle. If you have someone, have them hit to hold the brake or the emergency brake uh, will help with this too. I just don't want to break the e-brake. So other than that, let's continue on. Thank you. 
Okay, now I got it all off and the camera stopped recording on me, so I did not get that. But here's the new wheel hub, and it's gonna be a super simple. Um, literally, it just goes on like that. But obviously, uh, more like that, where it's lined up. All we have to do is reverse what we did, and it's a simple process. You, For me, I took off the e-brake, I took out the rear shock. Uh, you don't actually have to do that if you have a swivel set. I don't have a swivel set, even though I keep saying, oh, I'm gonna get a swivel set. I keep borrowing one. So, so I'm just gonna put the new part on, um, tighten all the bolts up. They're E12s on the back, I should have said that earlier. Um, super simple, just tighten all the bolts up, uh, put the e-brake back on. Before you put the actual wheel hub on, um, cause you can't, you, you can't just bolt it up like this. You gotta put the dust shield back on with the e-brake, right here. This beautiful piece. And yeah, this will just sit right about here. So when you actually go to put it on, Without further ado, we're gonna jump straight back into this and get this bolted up and done as soon as possible. So let's go.
Well guys, thank you so much for checking this video. You guys know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe button, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Valiant out.